Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am back, it is 2015, and what better way to ring in the new year than a haul of books that I bought in the last month of last year because Lord knows I couldn't contain myself. Um, so let's just get right to that, because there's quite a few books here, so, book number, oh, um, I'm not, re um, mm, I'm not going to tell you where I got these books, uh, I don't remember which ones came from where, to be perfectly honest for you, I got some of them at Book Outlet, I got some of them at Books A Million, I got some of them at Hastings, and I don't remember which came from where, oh, I guess I got some from Target too, so, yeah, those are just kind of my, my usual, like, go-tos for books, so, uh, yeah. Let's get started. I got a graphic novel version of The Wizard of Oz, and this, the book is by Frank L. Baum. Now, I literally live in the land of Oz. Not even kidding you. It's a real thing. Dorothy's house is just a couple blocks that way. I figured, Kansas girl, I love The Wizard of Oz anyways, and this is a beautiful, beautiful just graphic novel of it. Okay, one thing about this graphic novel that really kind of threw me off was that it has a dust jacket. It's a graphic novel with a dust jacket. I don't know. The next book, the next book that I got is American Born Chinese by Jean Yang, and this is actually also a graphic novel. Um, I've seen it on a couple people's channels, so I wanted to pick it up. So yeah. American Born Chinese. I believe he wrote Boxers and Saints. Um, not 100% sure about that. The next per book I picked up has been all over Jesse the Reader's channel. I don't know how many times. There's a couple that he just raves about that I've gotten here. And so I, I finally found a um, decently priced version of this book and so I was really excited to pick it up and holy shit. Oh my god guys. This book is so funny. It is hyperbole and a half by Ali Brosh. Oh my gosh. I laughed so hard. I did mark my favorite quote in here, but I'm not going to tell it to you because that would just spoil everything for you. Um, not the whole book, obviously, but it would take away from my favorite funny quote, which I'm sure is a lot of people's. So I picked up Hyperbole and a Half. Another book. Now this author has a book coming out this month, like four days before my birthday, and I'm totally, totally, totally going to pre-order it. Um, but I did find this little novella to kind of tie me over until then, and it is A Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire. Oh my gosh, Jamie McGuire's writing is amazing. Love it. It's fantastic. And I don't know why I love it, but she just writes such good stories and they just suck me in. And, um, yeah. So, Beautiful Redemption comes out this month. Totally getting it this month. It's my birthday present to myself. This next book was also by an auto by author, and it is Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman. This is a children's book. It's got illustrations by uh, Scotty Young, and this story is adorable. I will tell you more about it in my wrap up because um, it's Neil Gaiman. I had to read it right away, especially because it was short. And the next book that I picked up this past month was another graphic novel, and it is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. This particular edition is a is a graphic novel, obviously, I just said that, and it was put together by Tim Hamilton. Guys, it's beautiful. I really am, I'm in this kind of, um, rhythm of picking up any classics in graphic novel form. I think they're kind of neat to see what other people have kind of gotten out of the classics to make into a graphic novel, so, yeah, Fahrenheit 451, bam. <laughs> And, of course, I had to buy this one because I got sucked in to the first three volumes of this particular graphic novel. Told you, lots of graphic novels. And it is Saga Volume 4, and now I am, like, anticipating, super anticipating Volume 5 because this story just keeps getting better. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to get my hands on a copy of this. I was afraid that the bookstores, all the bookstores I went to were going to be out of it. So, yeah, Saga Volume 4. Wham! Um, disclaimer, it, it, it's, it, it's a graphic novel. No youngins. I also got a copy of Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. Um, I got this one because I already had a copy of Pretties. I have not read this series. 
Now all I need is specials and extras and then I can start the series! This next book that I picked up um, is the other book that has been like blasted on Jesse the Reader's channel. I don't know why. He's one of my favorite booktubers. He's very energetic. I, I don't... I'm, I don't know. It just kind of draws me in when people are so super excited and hyped about books and oh my gosh. He keeps bringing this one up and I finally found a copy of it because everywhere I went this copy was gone. Nowhere. Couldn't find it. But And it is vicious by V.E. Schwab. I'm super excited to get to start this one. I have a feeling that it will be on my TBR for this month because I have been hearing nothing but fantastic things about it and I can't wait to read it. Uh, that's why I bought it. That was really stupid. <laughs> okay, so the next book that's on my pile, um, I purchased a whole bunch of books on Black Friday, and I didn't realize that this technically wasn't a book, um, when I bought it, because I was just really, really hurrying, trying to get all the ones that I wanted before they went out of stock, but it is Smoke by Ellen Hopkins. I have the audiobook version. I am going to get the, um actual like paper copy like not just audiobook version but it was cheap and priced like one of their cheap books and when it comes to plays I'm a really big Shakespeare fan I know that sounds really cliche everybody loves Shakespeare blah 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 but I really do I love Shakespeare and one of my favorite plays and you're not even supposed to say the name but I'm gonna I'm for you guys I'm going to risk my life okay for you guys I'm risking my life by saying this title. I got a copy, a beautiful, beautiful, hard copy of Macbeth. I said it. There, I said it. The next book that I decided that I was going to pick a copy up of, um, you will kind of hear more about why I picked it up um, in a little resolutions video that I'm hoping to put up, but I got Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Um, there's a whole bunch of reasons I picked up this book. One is just that I've heard wonderful things about it and that it's become a TV show. Um, so, I, you know, I want to read the book before I watch the TV show, but there are some other reasons. There are some other reasons. The next book that I picked up, obviously when you look at the sticker, it's from Target, is Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. And I love John Green, and I've heard wonderful things about... Um, let it snow. I don't, I haven't read anything by Maureen Johnson or Lauren Miracle, but that is a freaking awesome last name. M-Y-R-A-C-L-E. Miracle. That is fantastic. But, um, I'm gonna be saving this book until Christmas next year, so I have a wintry book to read next, next year. God, this video is gonna be so long. Okay. The next book that I picked up is another graphic novel, and it is Mouse 2 by Art Spiegelman. Um, in a previous haul, I had Mouse 1. I was able to find and pick up Mouse 2, and so I will be excited to continue on with this story. The next book that I picked up was a book of poetry called The Winding Stair and Other Poems by W.B. Yeats. He is a fantastic poet. I'm excited to have a collection of his work. I've only read like small snippets or just, you know, single poems just from the internet and things like that. So I'm excited to have a bind up of some of his his poetry works. The next book that I picked up is One Plus One Equals Blue by MJ Och. 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 No. <laughs> um, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Um, I'm not sure what it's about. I'm pretty sure it is a contemporary book. Um, it looked interesting and so I picked it up because I judge books by covers. Now I am so not a fan of um, movie covers, like movie posters as covers for books. I'd rather have the original, but I haven't been able to find this book anywhere um, except for in the movie cover version. So and I was like, I really want to read it because I love the movie and it is Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Um, I'm excited to read this. He wrote Forgive Me Leonard Peacock and I haven't actually read that one yet, but I've heard really good things about it, and I've heard good things about this one, and I have a feeling that he is going to become a new favorite author if his books are as good as everybody says they are. So, um, I decided to pick up the one with the movie theater cover, movie theater cover, with the movie poster cover, whatever, guys. So, moving along with the theme of Tressa does not like movie poster covers, 
but really wanted to read the book so she picked it up anyways. I got Horns by Joe Hill. I really want to see this movie. It has Daniel Radcliffe in it. I love Daniel Radcliffe. Not just because of Harry Potter, but that is a big factor in the fact that I love Daniel Radcliffe. The fact that he can also rap, you know, that kind of helps things too. But I've heard this is a fantastically, like, funny, dark story. And so, um, yeah, I can't wait to get into this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many times can I say yeah in one video? The next book that I picked up is beautiful. It is probably one of the most beautiful books I own, with the exception of Grace Grimley's Frankenstein. It is gorgeous, guys, and it is Dracula by Bram Stoker. Now, I already have a smaller, kind of generic version of the book, but this one, oh my gosh, guys, look at this cover. It just wraps around the book. Now, when I was looking at this, I thought it was going to be more of a graphic style, graphic novel style book, but um, it's not. But it does have illustrations in it, and the illustrations are by Becky Cloonan. And I am so excited to reread this book. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite classic horror fiction stories. And I just want to read it in this book, in this cover, in this edition, because it's just so gorgeous. All right. I think we're over halfway by now. But the next book that I picked up, I picked up because it is by Neil Gaiman. It is Interworld. Um, it's also, he co-authored this with Michael Reeves. Um, I don't know anything about Michael Reeves. haven't read anything by Michael Reeves that I know of, but I know I love Neil Gaiman, and so of course I had to pick it up because it said Neil Gaiman on it. Um, I have no idea what this book is about, but, you know, it's it's got to be good. It, the next book that I picked up I saw on a channel called It's Way Past My Bedtime. A lot of you probably heard about it. It's Carrie Hope Fletcher's channel. She is fantastic, and I saw this book on the channel and intrigued me and so I picked up a copy when I saw it and it is The House at the End of Hope Street by Mina Van Prague and if I said that wrong I apologize. Guys I got another really pretty book for you. Um, I've been trying to get more classics and this is a classic that I don't have and it is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. This one has illustrations by Camille Rose Garcia. This cover! This cover. Look at this cover. The cover is gorgeous. This has to be one of my top favorite covers. And look, when you take the dust jacket off, it's so cool. Look at this, guys. It's got a pretty A there, and then Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, it's in like purple foil. And the end pages are gorgeous, too. It's kind of got something representing all of the wonderful creatures in Wonderland. I love Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. It's got little graphics in it too. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gorgeous. So I was really excited that I was able to get my hands on this one. I know I got this one from Book Outlet. It was one of the reasons I was trying to purchase really quickly and made the mistake of getting the audiobook. The next book that I picked up is another Neil Gaiman and you're like, Tressa, have you read all of these Neil Gaimans yet? No. No, I haven't, but I have a feeling that in the near future, I'm going to want to go on a Neil Gaiman kick. So I would rather have them all ready and willing and waiting to go, ready to be read. And I, the one that I picked up this time is Neverwhere. Um, this is supposed to be a horror story, I believe. And holy cow, I love Neil Gaiman and his, like, his darker stories. like The, the next two books I picked up are part of a series. Um, I do remember where I got these last five books, and it was Hastings, because... Um, the weekend after Christmas, they had a sale where if you bought five used books, you got them for 20 bucks. So I had to. Um, so I got five books from there. The first two I got are part of a series. I got White Cat and Red Glove, both by Holly Black. I have not read anything by Holly Black. I've heard a lot of good things about her. I do have The Coldest Girl in Cold Town and, and The Iron Trial, which she co-wrote with Cassandra Clare. I also picked up a copy of... Hold Me Closer, Necromancer by Lish McBride. I have no idea what this is about, but the title just kind of pulled me in. It pulled me in. I've been seeing this one a lot on Book Outlet. Um, and so when I found it and it was used and I needed another book, I was like, hey, why the heck not? Better get it. Someone, whoever the previous owner of this particular copy was, was very, very cynical. Very pessimistic person. And the only reason I can make that assumption is because they wrote a note for me 
that says everyone dies. Now while that is true, it's a little harsh to, to put in a beautiful book. But I'm going to leave it there because I think it's freaking hilarious that someone, you know, turned in this book with a sticky note in it that says everyone dies with two exclamation marks, guys. Not just one. They put two exclamation marks because they were pretty darn serious about that. The next book I picked up is one that recently I have been getting quite a few books by and it is Fallout by Ellen Hopkins. When I was checking out the um, girl that was um, ringing up all the books, she gets this and she goes, oh my god. I love that book by her. That's one of my favorites. So now I'm really excited to get to read this. I've read Rumble. I have, like, I'm stocking up on Ellen Hopkins books too, guys, because, you know, I can't get enough of just stocking up on books. Um, but she was really excited that I was getting this, and so I am in turn really excited to read it because that's a couple people that have told me that Fallout is a fantastic Ellen Hopkins book, so yeah. The final book that I got is Dark of the Moon by Tracy Barrett, and this book kind of drew me in. It not really by the cover. The cover's okay, but it says the myth of the Minotaur as it has never been told. And I love Greek and Roman mythology. I love the Minotaur stories. I love just any kind of any kind of mythology. It's just it kind of sucks me in. And so this is like a retelling of the story of the Minotaur. I believe it's like a backstory almost. Um, and I'm really excited to read this. I really hope that this one doesn't suck since it's one I haven't heard about before. I'm really, I'm really putting a lot of stock in this book being good just because it drew me in. Um, so if anyone has read Dark of the Moon, let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear if it's even worth the read. Um, I'm gonna just wrap this up for now because we all know this video is absolutely absurdly long because of the ridiculous amount of books that I bought and all of my stuff is in the doobly-doo. I apologize for being gone for so long. It's because of the holidays. And I had lots of fun with my family. And so now you guys are getting a whole bunch of videos. And I hope that helps ease your pain of the fact that I was gone for a while. I'm sorry. But I will see you guys in another video really soon. Thank you for watching. Bye! Everybody, yeah. Yeah. Rock your body, yeah.